So it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the 10th president of Becker College, your president, Dr. Robert Johnson. Thank you, David. Repeat after me. Spread the word. Across this, nation, across this nation, we're going to be, going to be a, great a great generation. One more time, spread the word. Spread the word. Across this nation, across this nation we're, going we're going to be a great generation. A great generation. You're going to be literally a great generation. I promise you that. You're going to be a great generation. There are so many people across this country who have given up on your generation. But I happen to believe that genius is right here at Becker College, right here, right now. Today, you begin your legacy at Becker College. It was just back in 1784 when two of the founders of this institution who signed the original charter John Hancock and, and Samuel Adams came together to, 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 to sign uh, the, the, the very beginnings of, of this Leicester campus, this hallowed ground that you stand on, 1784. And it is with great passion and leadership that they put forward the foundation uh, to create this great college. They also created uh, this great country that we now call America. And I admonish you that no matter what happens in your life, no matter what the storms may be, don't give up. No matter what storms you may encounter in life, don't give up, don't give in. Uh, last year, I shared with the incoming class uh, what I call the eight Ds of success. My great friend Joe Hoskins, who was a football coach, always said, it's not over until I win. And then Joe would offer these eight Ds. And these eight Ds are important because, you see, you can't be successful in college unless you figure out how to be successful in life. The first D is desire. What is it that you have a burning desire to do? Are you willing to fight for it no matter what? Is there something in your inner spirit, in your inner soul, that says, this is something that I want to do? A young man walked up to me a couple of days ago, and even as he was walking in, walking in today, he said, I want you to remember my name. My name is Austin. You're never, ever going to forget me. I want to come talk to you because I'm going to do something great and wonderful. He has a burning desire, and Austin, I do want to talk to you. First D is desire. You have to have something within your heart and your soul that you're willing to fight for and sweat for and never give up on, no matter what. And I believe the one thing you should desire is to graduate from Becker College. The second one is direction. You know, if you don't know where you're going, you'll end up anywhere. You have to be going in the right direction. Simply because you're putting one foot in front of the other does not mean you're headed in the right direction. If you're trying to drive to New York and you get on 95 going north, you'll never get there because you're going in the wrong direction. So as you, throughout your college years here at Becker, do things day in and day out, make sure that you're headed in the right direction and that you're following the right people to do the right thing all the time. It's so important to be headed in the right direction because, you know, a lot of things can happen as college students. You know, when I was growing up, I grew up in Detroit, Motown, the rhythm and blues, the, you know, R&B, yeah, we had, we had the Motown sound. You know, and, and I know how it is with some of the young men and the young ladies, but you, you've got to be careful. You've got to do the right thing. You've got to go in the right direction. You know, back in my day, yeah, what I would say to you young ladies, uh, you know, when that brother walks up to you, you know, singing like Luther Vandross, 
talking about just let me hold you tight. If only for one night. You better tell him. You better tell him. Come back in four years after, your, after you get your degree. Otherwise, you'll be singing like Patti LaBelle. On my own. <laughs> you gotta be going. You have to make sure you're going in the right direction. Third D, discipline. You have to be disciplined. And you know, you can do whatever you have the desire to do. I believe people make time to do the things that are most important to them. Now, I know you all can hang out and party all night, hang out to four o'clock in the morning, but you know, if you have a test the next day, all of a sudden at nine o'clock that night, you get sleepy. You gotta have the discipline to do the things that are most important. And the thing that you are here for above and beyond anything else is to earn a college degree. Discipline, self-discipline, doing the right thing the right way will help you to be successful in life. Fourth D, dedication. What are you dedicated to? What is it, what is it that you're willing to, to do no matter what, that you're willing to spend hours upon hours upon hours upon hours doing to be successful in life. Whatever your craft, whatever your trade, whatever it is that you decide that you want to, to be as a professional, I ask you, I, I admonish you to be dedicated. Be dedicated to something, believe in something, fight for something. Whatever it is that you dream about, Dream big thoughts and be dedicated to that dream and do not let anyone, do not let anyone take your dream away from you. Fifth D, dependability. Are you dependable? Can we depend on you? Can you depend on yourself to do the right thing? Can you depend upon your friends to do the right thing for you, to help you? You have to be dependable in order to make it in life. We talk about being global citizens here at Becker College academic excellence, social responsibility, and creative expression. The world is depending upon you to do the right thing. You see, the fact that you have a college degree means that you are privileged. It's not a right, you are privileged. And to whom much is given, much is required. So the world is depending on you to go out, to go out there and leave this place better than the way you found it. Determination. It's the 6D. You have to have determination. And when you think about it, in having determination, what is it that you have that all the greatest people who have come before you that they didn't have? You, absolutely nothing. If you're determined to do something, if you make up in your mind to do it, you can make it happen. My father used to always say to me, never become misled, my lad. For you have the very same tools that all the greatest men who have lived on this earth have had. You have two arms, two legs, and two eyes. And a mind if you use. And a mind if you use, you can become just as wise. With similar knives and forks they use, with similar laces they tie their shoes, you can become just as great of a man if you believe in yourself and say, yes, I can. You have to be determined to never, ever give up on your dreams. The seventh D, durability. Durability. You know, you have to, you have to be built strong to last long. And this world will beat you up. The world doesn't care about you. The world doesn't care that, that you are special and that your parents think that you're special. The world will beat you up one side and down the other. But you have to have the durability to endure the storm. You have to have the durability to endure the bad times. You have to have the durability to not give in and not give up when you get down and out. And you will have some bad days. That's life. Life will dish out some stuff to you. But it's not a matter of how many times you fall down. What's more important is how many times you get back up. You have to be durable to keep getting back up. The eighth and last D is defense. You have to have the ability to defend those things that you most believe in. Something that you're willing to fight for, something you're willing to die for. 
may it be a principle or a cause, but you have to have the defense to believe in something. Believe at your core, at your core in terms of the essence of who you are. Believe in something and be willing to fight for it and defend it no matter what. And I can't tell you what those principles should be for each and every one of you. You have to decide that for yourself. You have to decide that no matter what, those one, two, or three things that I believe in, I will defend them and I will fight for them to the death. As you think about the eight Ds, I don't want you to be afraid to succeed. Don't be afraid to fail. Because in life you will fail. But don't give in and don't give up. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to pursue your dreams and your goals and your aspirations. Don't be afraid to be a scholar here at Becker College. Don't be afraid of what life will dish out to you. Just don't give in and don't give up. In the words of Eminem, I don't want you to be afraid. I want you to say, I'm not afraid to take a stand. Everybody come take my hand. We'll walk this road together through the storm, whatever weather, cold or warm. Just letting you know that you're not alone. Holler if you feel like you've been down this same road. So take these ADs and let them go with you for life. Remember, remember them and they will be your guiding light. You belong to something that is bigger than yourself. So get your Becker blue and rise to the top shelf. You are a great generation without a doubt. Remember the eight days when you are down and out. I know you can do it. Oh, yes, you can. Put on your Becca Blue and spread love all over this land. And D is not the only letter in the alphabet. And as you go out in life, I want you to take an A and accept this challenge. Take a B and believe in yourself. Take a C and call on your inner strength. Take a D and dedicate yourself to something. Take an E and educate your mind. Take an F and fight a good fight. Take a G and get on with it. Take an H and hold on to your dreams. Take an I and identify your talents. Take a J and journey until the job is done. Take a K and keep on keeping on. Take an L and let love light your way. Take an M and make up your mind. Take an N and never give up. Take an O and open the door. Take a P and put one foot in front of the other. Take a Q and quit quitting. Take an R and run this race. Take an S and stay the course. Take a T and trust in that inner voice. Take a U and utilize your time wisely. Take a V and value your victory. Take a W and walk in the light. Take an X and X-ray your, your lifestyle. Take a Y and yearn for the truth and take a Z. Take a Z and fight for Becker Blue.